A young couple has just moved into their first shared room. Rob, the husband, takes boxes of their belongings inside the home, while Gail, the wife, prepares the kitchen. Gail is annoyed because the owner left an outdated fridge in the apartment. They can't get rid of it, but it looks terrible in the kitchen. Rob attempts to remain optimistic, telling her that ancient freezers contain technologies that modern ones don't. She offers to have some wine since they are exhausted after lugging all of the boxes. Rob opens the ancient refrigerator to check whether it has any ice. He is astonished to see the freezer packed with large pieces of ice. He inserts a cube into his drink and notices an unusual form in the ice. When Rob discovers what it is, he doesn't seem to trust his eyes. He hands Gail the cube and instructs her to check its contents. When the two of them gaze through the magnifying glass, they find a little mammoth trapped within the cube. Gail is perplexed, so she returns to the fridge and removes bits of ice until she discovers a functional medieval city. As the individuals within the freezer go about their daily lives, it seems that time is passing more quickly. The pair is astounded and has no idea how this is possible. Rob later conceals the mammoth's little corpse beneath their houseplant. Gail mocks him, and when she opens the fridge again, she notices that the Middle Ages have been replaced with the Industrial Revolution. Decades passed in the freezer in the brief minutes they were gone. They watch how rapidly people construct large structures and residences, and he wonders whether the people in the refrigerator believe they are gods. Just then, two construction workers inside the freezer begin grumbling about the two fools who keep an eye on them every day. They're sick of seeing Gail's teeth covered with vegetables. The industrial period gives place to the modern age in an instant, and massive structures are created. Rob has no idea what's going on when little objects pass over the homes, but Gail believes they're planes. The couple is taken aback when the clock progresses from the past to the present. Rob chuckles as he attempts to comprehend the little universe by staring at a Starbucks location. He gets closer to get a better look as a large, dazzling rocket launches at the little village. Gail attempts to aid Rob after he slips and falls backwards onto the kitchen floor. People are fighting inside the fridge and everything seems to be damaged. The pair sees how difficult life will be in the future, yet they don't seem to care. Gail shuts the fridge and tells the visitors to return later since they can't end a war in a few minutes. The two order pizza and devour it, oblivious to the fact that a nuclear war is raging in their freezer. Rob advises that they go inside and check what's going on after about an hour. The pair does not seem to want to open the freezer since they may witness the end of humanity, but when they eventually open it, they are rewarded. The battle is over and people have moved on. They even notice the flying automobiles and comment that the little futuristic town reminds them of the Emerald City. People have made greater strides than ever before. Bridges connect multiple buildings in the future world at first, but soon a single pyramid-shaped edifice takes control. They believe that everyone now resides in the tower. A diamond-shaped structure may be seen within the pyramid when it is opened. The structure encompasses the whole city, and soon a sphere of energy emerges in the center. It eventually snaps, blasting electric sparks into the couple's kitchen. They are fascinated by the sparks that flutter around the room like fireflies. They believe humanity has discovered all there is to know about the cosmos and is now traveling to areas in space beyond their wildest fantasies. The light sparks then recombine in the sphere and proceed into the freezer, which the pair believes is their true home. Finally, the sphere vanishes indicating that the world is approaching its conclusion. The pair are perplexed as they stare at the empty freezer. Rob ultimately unplugs the fridge, and the couple cuddles, having seen humanity's history, present, and future in the previous few hours. The next morning has arrived. The two wake up and go about their morning routine, but they can't get their minds off what occurred last night. They decide to open the freezer one final time just to make sure everything is really over. The time of the dinosaurs has returned, much to everyone's amazement. Several little apes consume the carcass of a deceased dinosaur. They flee as another dinosaur pursues them. The episode concludes with the pair continuing to observe the little creatures in their natural habitat.